So I got into therapy because in 2020, I got into a super toxic relationship. And because I was so focused on finding a partner to make me complete, this guy was like the good on paper guy. He owned a house and was successful. And what I thought loved me very much. He showed, he showed that through like lavish gifts and, and all of that. And I was trying so hard to make this relationship work that our last ditch attempt after fighting all the time was couples therapy. It's just like something to cross off the list. And we went to a couple sessions and I just like finally got the courage to leave. And I really loved this therapist because I just like bonded with her and thought she was so cool. And I was like, hey, do you mind if I keep seeing you? Because my partner at the time was not going to see her. And he, uh -huh. he was just, you know, doing the therapy to say he did it. And for a year, I was seeing her. And I think we were like doing some work and some exploration. But like I wasn't diving deep, as I mentioned, like I was partying and going out. And <laughs> it was kind of surface level. And I think that people are afraid to face themselves, like you mentioned, because you're scared of what's on the other side. Um, but I decided that when I got into my previous relationship, the second one, I was with someone who had done a lot of work on themselves and he was really spiritual and he had gone to therapy, been to therapy. And I, now I realize nothing is a coincidence. I realize that everything happens for a reason. And I was meant to date him because he gave me the safety and security to feel like I could explore versions of myself too and go deeper in therapy. And so I started to go deeper and my therapist introduced me to plant medicine um, some people call it like ayahuasca. There are different, some people take mushrooms. And if you know me, like I am extreme, I'm a huge control freak. I don't, I've never dabbled really with substances, like smoked weed when I was 15, hated it, like very much not my jam, but I trusted her so implicitly that I decided to dip my toe um, because I really wanted to get better. Like I wanted to just like change my patterns and behaviors, especially with men. And so I went to this journey and growing up, I was always extremely overweight. So I, at my heaviest, I weighed 208 pounds. I lost 70 pounds and um, I've had some traumatic moments with men and my weight. Like I've had men tell me that they wish my body looked different. Um, I had a, a partner's mom call me to tell me that if I had lost weight, I'd still be with her son. Just these awful like traumatic moments. And so I went, yeah, yeah deep sigh. It's okay. We I'm forgive like them. Getting angry and like <laughs> sick at the same time. It's crazy. Yeah. But I believe everything happens for a reason. And now I understand like my mission is to help young women with confidence and, um, that those moments said a lot more about those people and how they feel about themselves than how I was. So I go do this journey and you take like a couple doses. The The substance is called Kana. It's like if you Google it, it says it's like nature's molly. It's like a plant found in South Africa. Um, and they encourage you to do something called mirror work when you're on the substance, which is that you go into the mirror and just see what comes up for you. So this was like towards the end of the evening. And I go into the mirror and I look in the mirror and I see 208 pound Julia crying. And immediately I have to throw up and I just like keep having to throw up and I keep looking in the mirror and she's crying. And I finally have this moment where I'm like, oh my God, like I am throwing up all the negativity and toxicity I've told myself over the years about myself and my value. And I need to just look in the mirror and tell myself I love myself. And so I do that. And as soon as I do it, the reflection staring back at me smiles. And I'm just like, wow, like basically the key to unlocking so much for me is just to love myself. And like, that is, that is really it. That's like at the root of everything. And I've been getting in my own way, hating myself for so long. And how can you have, if I, I kept trying to find men to be partnered with, like, how did I expect to find a man to love me if like the closest person to me myself didn't love myself? And I realized that I was just looking to fill a void. Julia, that, <laughs> that is fucking incredible. And like, I, I had a little bit of uh, goosebumps go up uh, my right arm, which is always a good sign. 